Hey guys, um, this is going to be my contest entry video for Beans Loves SOEDs contest and in this I get to describe my favorite TV show and I'm happy about that because for those of you that saw my last video in which I show you my favorite movies I just got a couple of seconds way at the end to show you my two favorite TV shows, shows. and um, well I'm just happy for the chance to elaborate on one of those and although currently this summer I'm re-watching all of the seasons of Supernatural, I decided to talk about Buffy because I've seen it more. It truly is my first love and I just, I know it better. I, I know the episode names and everything and it's just easier to talk about and my first love, you know, what can I say? So, I'm going to show you the DVDs chronologically and not the order I bought them in because I thought that would be easier. So this is season one and I like this season. I like Young Buffy. Um, you see, for me, one of the most important things in a TV show is character development. And if the characters don't evolve and grow as the episodes and the seasons go along, I tend to stop watching. So one of the reasons I love this TV show is the really big changes that the main characters go through. And when you compare young, sweet, innocent Buffy in this season to the somewhat tortured woman she becomes in season 7. The, the growth and the evolution is just enormous and the same goes for Willow and Sander and even Spike. So I love that about this TV show. Season 2 is probably my uh, favorite season overall. Um, I love the overall storyline. I like Angel in this still as well, and Spike and Drusilla. And the character development from the start of the season to the end is very interesting as well. Um, you see Angel go bad and you see Spike not exactly go good but he makes an effort for all the wrong reasons but still. And um, most importantly you kind of see the first changes in Sweet Innocent Buffy and the first steps to becoming the woman that she is by the end of the season. And she has to make her first really difficult decisions. And it's just interesting going along that ride with her. So overall, I think this has to be my favorite season. Now season 3 doesn't really ring a bell. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I've been thinking about it and I, I know, I know that, um, that we meet Faith and Wesley and um, the mayor 
as important and actually um, that's the reason I don't know much about this season because I like it a little less the, I don't like the mayor as the big bad and I love Faith but generally this season just does a little bit less for me personally so I've rewatched it less, which explains why my recollection of it is a little vague. So less good for me. Now season four is special. Um, it has a special box. It's different from all the others. It has this nice hard cardboard box and the reason for that is oh this side is nice the reason for that is I bought this first and it has this nice book thing inside and a little book and in here are all of the DVDs now it kind of creaks when I open it all the way so I'm just gonna carefully leaf through them so the DVDs are just inside of these little pockets here and the reason I bought this one first is although that overall I think this is not a very good season, um, it has most of my favorite episodes and I rewatch these episodes a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> in this, in this um, box there are the episodes that I know by heart. There's a couple of one in season, a couple of episodes in season six as well, but most are in here. Now I don't like this season very much overall because I intensely dislike Riley <laughs> and I don't much care for the initiative and well Adam has the big bad Maggie Walsh really gets on my nerves as well but this just these episodes just have some comedy gold and some wonderful scripts and I'm thinking well Hush is an amazing episode not for its script but for its lack of script it's amazing but the episodes I rewatch a lot are um Pangs. I love that. It's hilarious. It's just brilliant. Um, I want to spin off into all of these hilarious quotes from that episode, but I don't. Same goes for um, Beer Bad. Comedy Gold. Adorable Buffy. Cave Woman Buffy. It's adorable. Um, Something Blue. A new man, um, even superstar, and doomed as well. And of course, I love the the two episodes featuring Faith, um, this year's girl, and Who Are You? They are wonderful. So, although the overall storyline is a little bit less good for me in this season. These episodes are wonderful. I could not live without this DVD box. And that's why it's my favorite. If I have to take one with me, I don't know, from Antwerp or from somewhere, this would be the one. And I'd just take my separate Once More With Feeling season six with me, I have it separately as well. So, um, 
going to go a little bit faster through this one. Season 5, where we meet Dawn. Um, kind of jumped the shark on that one. Um, Glory as the big bad. I don't particularly like her. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this season. Um, and of course, um, the ending is heart-wrenching. Season 6. Now, there are some episodes in here that I rewatch as well, although for entirely different reasons than the ones in season 4. Um, what can I say? Um, James Mars Marsters as Spike is just edible, and he's in this a lot. In, well, in quite a lot of phases of undress. So, but in here, we have the musical episode, Once More With Feeling. And I adore that episode. I think it attests like none other to Joss Whedon's absolute brilliance. Um, I mean, writing those songs and the lyrics, it's just incredible. I love, I love the songs. And there are several other episodes in this that I like. And Willow, as the big bad, is also wonderful. And I hated to see Tara go. I think she's kind of my favorite character in this. Because she's just good. She's a good person. So I hated to see her go. Not as much as I hate it to see Kennedy come in season seven. But well, generally this is just not that good of a season. I think everyone knows it. And um yeah. But there's several good episodes in this as well. And I think uh, Spike's storyline is very interesting in this. But overall, it's just the slayers in training just bother me, and the uber vamps as well. I, I don't know. Although I have to say that the first has a big bad is very nice. And I love Nathan Fillion as Caleb. He really, he is really good. The ending, wow, well, I can live with it. But I was sad to see it end. So that's my favorite TV show. Um, I have two tattoos that are linked to this TV show. Um, one is my most recent tattoo, I'll show you. Here. Ger Arg. And for all of the fans of this TV show that have some DVDs at home, they'll all know what that refers to. And uh, I still love this TV show, and if you haven't given it a chance yet, I suggest you do. Okay, um, thank you for watching. Uh, comments are very much appreciated, and I hope you have a lovely night. Okay, bye bye now.